Okay, so where are we next? Um, now, I'm basically at the moment just trying to figure out what panels I've got behind here. We've got the glass, we've got the HSI body, we've got the LCD backing, which is fine. Okay, we've got LCD1. Now, I don't know what uses LCD1. Because I didn't name it correctly. should have named it better. So, we go into our materials. I'll fetch a material. I think that's the wrong button. No, just the right one. Sorry, I'll have to try it another way. Okay, BD5G1000. Hmm, I think I need to change those settings. I don't even know what that one is. Oh, of course. Hang on. Okay, LCD backing. We know what that one is. HSD body, we know. Object 2. Okay, object 2 will most likely be just a glass. Let's be packing. Okay. If in doubt, grab all the buggers and bring them out. And that way we can figure out what's what and what goes where. because we can always put them back afterwards. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the various sections so I can try and figure out what's what. Okay. We have... Oh, we've already got the glass. We have a PFT with night time. Ah, I know what's up. I think. Okay, now we I have to remember. When we were developing the DA forty and the DA forty two, many users were finding that the vibrancy of the MFT was not enough. So we created a new way of lighting, but unfortunately that then made it extremely harsh um, and bright during the daytime. Um, and early versions of the DA40, you would fly around and notice that the MFDs were blurry, hard to read, because of the way we would implemented the lighting. And that was done during the day. So what we did instead, and we incorporated this into some of our later aircraft, um, and the new MFT displays is we put a transparency on a black background um, so essentially re halving the intensity of the 
display during the daytime conditions. And when it was at night time and you turned the vibrancy, you turned the brightness of the screen on, it was a lot brighter. But it had that option to control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly save this. And I'm going to open up a different aircraft, one that we'd worked on previously. I'm going to open up the DA-40. Um, if I can find it. DA-40. Um, VC. Yeah, ignore all those warnings. So this is the DA-40. version 1.6 and I'm going to have a look and see how we did it because my memory is not what it used to be oops wrong button okay so these are the glass panels on the DA40 on version 1.6 so we're going to ungroup those okay G1000 glass yep. okay that's that group ungroup that Okay, so we have glass, object 127. So, again, I'm just going to split these up and see what we've got. Cage is night, tile black. Okay, black tile. Okay, I'm going to try and find the associated images so I can figure this out. If I'm finding this ever so peculiar. And that also makes no sense. Yeah, that's definitely not right. Okay, well, while those are like that, because I've got a material wrong somewhere, I'm going to hide those. There it is. 